Hi, everyone. This is Bob the Science Guy. Let's continue our fun little episode with Caleb last night, the king of flurfs on TikTok. Now, as you may recall from our first episode, he was grilling me on how I measured the earth curve in my backyard. We played some word games. That kind of stumped him because I actually knew the answers to him. And now he's entering into his next word game. Measure is actually collecting data. Deducing is what you do with the data. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it is connecting the dots on the data. Okay, so, so I you, actually you, measured I actually <laughs> measured the drop over half a mile, and it's two inches. You measured – whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you measured the drop. Did you take in the fact that we see in curved visual space? What's the difference What's between hyperbolic visual space? Hold on, Bob. What's the difference between hyperbolic geometry and Euclidean geometry? Well, Euclidean geometry, of course, is plane geometry. Hyperbolic and spherical geometry deal with curved surfaces. Now, just to clear a few things up, an example of Euclidean geometry is the surface of this lens cap. It's flat. Spherical geometry is the back of the bowl. It's curved. Hyperbolic geometry is the inside of the bowl. We see in hyperbolic geometry, really, Okay. Uh, then he tried to, again, play the definition game with me. This is, again, a classic flat earth technique. What is the definition of hyperbolic geometry? Well, I told him. And even though my answer, of course, was correct, he has to somehow say that it's wrong. Let's see how he does that. How do you take that into account, Bob? You can take a second, breathe. I can tell you're nervous. Take a second, breathe, dude. Can I'm not nervous at all. So I just how, heard do you think, how do you think we <sighs> see in spherical, in hyperbolic geometry? How did you account for hyper, how we, do we see in Euclidean or hyperbolic geometry, Bob? Well, in this case, we're seeing in Euclid, Euclidean because we're looking at straight lines. We're, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are you using to see in Euclidean geometry? You, you're, you're trying to say that because my eyes are spherical, that no, Bob, somehow makes so my, my vision focus. spherical? Yeah, one thing I don't think Caleb understands is the difference between hyperbolic, spherical, and Euclidean geometry is not triangles, squares, and circles, and lines. It's the surface that those are put upon. This is pretty typical uh, of somebody trying to punch above their own intellect. You see, most flat earthers are used to just baffling people with word salad, such as saying Euclidean hyperbolic geometry, terms whose meaning they are clueless about, in the hope that their opponent is also equally as clueless, because that tries to confuse them and put them off their game. When you have an opponent that actually does know what these things are, it blows their mind and it just kind of causes them to die a little bit inside. Then what they generally do is double down. Let's see. Bob, focus. <laughs> what did you use to view in Euclidean geometry? What did you use? I used an auto level. An auto level? A total station? An auto level. Do you What's know the difference level, between Bob? an auto level and a What's total an station? Level? No, I don't. What's an auto level? An auto level sets up a horizontal at a given point. Since I'm looking at a cross section through a curved surface, this is all Euclidean geometry. Now, the other thing that you'll notice is that he started to project on me. He tried to tell me that I was nervous that I needed to take a deep breath and calm down. I was as calm then as I am right now. Who is the one getting excited here? Who is the one that maybe needs to take a deep breath and collect his thoughts? It's not me. Do you What's know the difference level, between Bob? an auto level and a What's total an station? Level? No, I don't. What's an auto level? An auto level sets up a horizontal at a given point. So well, it sets up a it sets true. up a what line. Like, it sets up a line of sight that is perpendicular to the vertical at any given point where the station's set up. All right, auto station, telescope. Auto levels have telescope mounted. So did you have to look through the telescope on the auto level? Yep. Do your eyes see in Euclidean or hyperbolic geometry, Bob? Euclidean. Holy shit. You genuinely think our eyes see in Euclidean geometry, Bob? Okay, Bob, tell me, um, what is this? Now, this is another classic technique. Even though I gave the correct answer, he's going to somehow imply that it was wrong and laughably wrong. And then he's going to demonstrate what he thinks hyperbolic eyesight means. Let's see. Let's, let's, re you're going to have to walk that path. Uh, what is this, Bob? Does this look like Euclidean geometry or hyperbolic geometry? Euclidean. You think these lines are straight? Even though these lines are perfectly straight on this walkway, they're coming to a point, and you think that's Euclidean. That's called perspective. 
doesn't have to do yeah. with hyperbolic yeah, it's geometry. Very simple, Bob. <laughs> We're trying to explain to you that we see in hyperbolic geometry. That's not hyperbolic not geometry. I can send you plenty of papers talking about how we see in hyperbolic geometry, binocular space. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. He thinks simple perspective is hyperbolic geometry. And more importantly, then he offers to send me quote-unquote papers. Flat earthers and science deniers in general, when they try to cite papers, generally what they'll do is they'll do a word search for a particular phrase that they're trying to promote. They'll find a paper that has that phrase in it, and then they'll go to the sentence that has the phrase. They won't read the paper, because even though the sentence in their mind supports their position, the paper itself does not. Hyperbolic right. geometry. Is this Euclidean? Describe. Just so I can actually, let me. Where'd you go? Let's let this screen record stop. Start. Just give it one second. Not Bob, look like Euclidean geometry or hyperbolic geometry. That's Euclidean geometry. <laughs> Yo, perfect, perfect clip, Bob. Thank you for that. Now, for those of you that are getting a little confused without a scorecard, this is another technique that he's doing. Now, he's trying to imply that I'm wrong, and he's trying to intimidate me by doing a screen recording of me giving the answer that I just gave. And some people that don't understand this very well, they may begin to question their answer and try and change it a little bit, in which case he'll point out the change. I was sure of my answer, so I gave the same one. So he can record me giving correct answers all he wishes, because I'm recording too. This is Bob the Science Guy. Follow me for more.